everybody. It's unit five. Today we're going to talk about shapes in music. And later on, when you go to the website, you're going to listen to a piece by a composer. Again, what is a composer? Someone who writes music. You're going to listen to a piece by a composer named Anton Webern. It's called The Six Bagatelles. To get you ready to listen to that piece, we're going to start by playing a game. First thing that I need you to do to get ready for the game is your teacher is going to arrange you into groups of four or five people. And when you're in a group of four people, you get into a circle. And so you're all sort of facing each other in the group. And when I say go, pause the video and get into groups of four or five. On your mark, get set, go. I need a helper to explain the shape game, so I'm going to invite my friend Valeria. Hi. <laughs> OK, here's the game. Listen to the directions first, and then when I say go, you're going to do it. The first part of the game is that you're going to choose one person to start in the circle. And everyone will get a turn, because you're going to go around in a circle. So just choose one person to start, and then decide which way you're going in the circle. And the first person is going to make a shape in the air. It can be anything. You're going to sort of pretend that the air is clay. So you're going to make a shape. It doesn't have to be a real shape. I'm going to make some antennas. I'm going to stick some holes in it. And then I'm going to take my shape, and I'm going to pass it to the next person. Valeria is going to take the shape from me, and then she's going to transform it into any shape she wants. You can just. Transform it and make a shape. Ooh, that's a good shape. Excellent. And then she's going to take that shape and pass it to the next person. Exactly. Perfect. That's step one. Do that once. Go around in a circle once. And when you're done, I'll give you the next set of directions. OK, we're on to step two. Now, for step two, you're going to do exactly the same thing, except this time you're going to add sound effects to the shape. So the first person's going to start, and it's going to be something like this. Zoop, 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 zoop. Then you're going to take the shape, pass it to the next person. Excellent. And then you're going to pass it to the next person. OK, pause the video, go around the circle once, and then come back for the next set of directions. OK, now I want each group, one at a time, to go up to the front of the room and perform your sound effects for the class. So I want it to be like a real performance, which means that the group will come up to the front, and everybody can clap. The group can bow, because we always bow at the beginning of a performance. Instead of standing in a circle, since you're going to have an audience in front of you, you can all stand in a line. Pick the first person to start, do the sound effects and the shapes going down the line. So it'll be something like this, like zoop, 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 zoop. Or whatever. <laughs> and you'll just go down the line like that. Now, the key is that everybody should be super, 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 super quiet. Because what I want you to hear is just the sound of the sound effects going from one person to the other, like a concert, like music. So it's going to sound or whatever, however it's going to sound. It should be like a concert going from one person to the next. And then when the last person is done, then everyone can bow, and the audience can clap, and the next group can go. So it'll be a concert of sound effects.
Now I'm going to make some shapes in the air, just the way you just did in the shape game, but then I'm going to play them on my violin. So watch this. Flumpf. Here's one more air shape that I'll play on my violin. Flump, flump. Da, do, a, da. I've also drawn some shapes. Here's one. And the last drawing that I'll give to you. All of the musical examples that I just played are actually real notes from this piece called Six Bagatelles by Anton Webern. A bagatelle means it's a short piece of music. So there are six of them that Anton Webern wrote, six bagatelles. And all the music that I just played is from the first bagatelle. And each bagatelle is about 30 seconds long. So they're very, very short. Later, you're going to go onto the website and you're going to listen to Webern's six bagatelles. And as you're listening, the music sounds very different than some of the other music that we've listened to so far. See if you can listen for the different shapes in the music. You're going to hear how the music goes up and down, and it really does sound like the way we did the sound effects in the shape game. One of the reasons why Webern's music sounds a little bit different than some of the other music we've heard so far is that he asks the instruments to do a bunch of special effects that changes the sounds of the instrument. For instance, the first thing he tells us to do is use a mute. This is a mute right here, this brown thing. And what it does is, if I play without the mute, sounds normal. When I put the mute on the bridge, what it does is dampen the vibrations, sort of like going ah and covering your mouth. It dampens the vibrations and it makes the sound softer. It's just a slightly different sound. And this is a very small mute. I have a really big mute that I sometimes use in hotel rooms when I want to practice and I don't want people to hear me. So this is called a practice mute. It's a huge mute that really, really makes the sound quite a bit softer. So here, there's a huge difference. So this is the mute, or this. This is also a mute. The next thing that Webern tells us to do sometimes is pizzicato. And that is a word in Italian that means plucking with your finger. So this is pizzicato. The next thing that Webern tells us to do sometimes, another Italian word, tremolo. And tremolo means very much what it sounds like. It means that you tremble your bow so it sounds very, very shaky and kind of scary. I think it sounds pretty nervous and scary. So that's tremolo, when you shake your bow really, really fast and it makes this trembling sound. Aha, 
The next thing that Webern tells us to do sometimes is to play with harmonics. When you play normally, you put your finger down and it covers the string. You put your finger down normally, it has a normal pressure and it covers the string. For a harmonic, you put your finger down super, super lightly so that it's only sort of skating on the top of the string. And it makes this cool, whistly type sound. I'm sort of barely touching the string with my fingers. That's harmonics, kind of whistling sound. Another thing that Webern asks us to do is another Italian word. It's called panticello. And panticello means that you play with the bow right up against the bridge. This is the bridge right here. You play with the bow right up against it, and it makes this creepy, eerie sound. I don't know if you remember, but back in Unit 3, when we did the emotions, I actually used Ponticello because I wanted to make the jealous sound sound kind of eerie and weird. So I went, played that normally, and then I played this Ponticello. It's a good tool when you want to make something sound eerie and weird. Those are all the special effects, and they add even more shapes and colors to Webern's music. And now you're going to go onto the website, you're going to listen to Webern's Six Bagatelles, and I want you to listen for all the shapes, and also see if you can listen for the pizzicatos, see if you can listen for the mute, the sound of the mute. That's more subtle, but you might be able to hear it if the sound sounds a bit softer. Um, see if you can listen for tremolos and harmonics and the sound of the ponticello. So if you listen for all of that and all the shapes and stuff, you'll be pretty busy. Okay, see you next time. Have fun.